Hello, Cancer. This is your reading for the 8th or the 9th. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. <clears throat> if you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what we've got going on for Cancer today. Strength. Mm. Addressing those issues that you, you struggle with, I feel. Um, maybe you guys feel like you have been um, way too nice, way too generous, way too lax with something or someone here. Um, and willing to, I think a lot of you feel like maybe you kind of let yourself down with something that happened in the past, um, felt kind of foolish around something, maybe something that you allowed, something that you did, um, you know, regarding someone else or something else. But now it's like, you know, you're stepping out of faith, stepping away from that. Okay. But you know, you're still struggling with it. I feel, um, but a lot of you are just, you know, you're trying to move forward, go towards those things that you feel like, um, will make you happy walking away from things that you feel like don't. Okay. Leaving that energy behind here. Maybe a Pisces, Aries individual, maybe Leo that you guys are dealing with here <clears throat> and starting over starting new somewhere else okay if this is a job you guys are um you know starting over moving jobs um leaving positions where you felt like you weren't you were being taken for granted um that your skills were not um being acknowledged if this is a relationship this is you guys moving away from people that have taken you for granted you know argue with you fought with you always tried to one up you even you know you're moving on from that starting over doing new things here okay very good mm. yeah i think you're really struggling with um it's like you want to address something here. You want to talk about something. You want to talk about what happened. And um, and I feel like, you know, that's something that's weighing on you. You, you really want to, like, rectify a situation here. You really do. You want to give, I feel like you want to give somebody a piece of your mind, actually. And I feel like you're holding yourself back from, um, you know, really just going off off the handle here and kind of keeping things to yourself. I feel like there's something that, um, that you really feel like, you know, you kind of let slide before letting people get away with things before. Okay. And I think that, hold on guys, my son's Alexa's going off back here. Hold on. That was the oddest thing ever because he's not back there. <laughs> he's at school and um, his door is closed. So very weird. But any, anyway, um, yeah, you guys, there's something that I feel like you guys kind of let slide before. And, and I think right now you're like, what, what the hell? You know, I should have said this. I should have done this. And, um, yeah, and I think you're struggling with kind of holding yourself back here. That's what I'm getting from this, okay? <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah. Kind of taking a time out, taking a little chill pill. Um, you know, moving away from things that you feel like are not good for you, that bring out the worst in you. Um, people that, like, trigger you, you're, you're not wanting to deal with that anymore. And right now you're just trying to like figure out where you go from here. What are you doing from here? Okay. Because you're very disappointed, very heartbroken. You're going through some changes here. Okay. But I feel like you guys are very tired. Like you're exhausted um, from someone. Somebody that was probably very arrogant. You know. Very controlling. You're going through a lot of changes here. You're going through some changes here, and I think I think you feel it. Um, there's definitely something that's getting ready to shift in your life, and right now I think you're needing to take take some time to yourself. Okay, take some time to regroup, and because there's some things that's getting ready to like um, steamroll in your life is what I'm getting for you guys. Okay, 
A lot of you are still very sad. Let's see what's influencing you right now. Just working, working, working on yourself, um, trying to deal with your own feelings, I feel. Trying to come to grips with, you know, things that have happened and, and deal with your feelings surrounding what has happened to you, what you've gone through here. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. King of Pentacles. Mm. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got with this. Huh. I feel you guys going into this mode where, you know, you're working and working and working, trying to like not think about um, the things that have hurt you emotionally is what I'm getting from this. And you're thinking the worst. You're thinking the worst um, possible scenarios. You're thinking um, the worst situations that could happen. Maybe that um, you know you're you'll never find anybody that you know will have those really deep feelings for you, or or maybe that somebody's cheating on you. It's like having this overactive imagination, over exaggerating situations, and putting yourself in a position where it's like you're in this nightmare state. Okay, please don't do that to yourself. Please don't do that to yourself because I feel I feel a lot of you, you know, having a lot of sleepless nights, um, you know, throwing yourself into work, into a tizzy to try to like, you know, not think about certain things. But um, there, I, I feel like you guys, you know, definitely are changing. There's something going on with you, and I think that. I think that you will start to see things clearly, but I feel like there is a need for you guys to kind of rest, take take a time out, meditate, um, you know, just do some relaxation techniques because, and try not to to focus on, um, you know, things that have happened to you or the worst possible scenarios. And if you do find yourself doing that, then when you catch yourself doing that, try to catch yourself doing that. And then, you know, divert your attention to more positive things, whatever that is, because there are positive things going on in your life. You just have to actively um, steer your thoughts away from the negative, okay? So let's go ahead and pull you guys a Romance Angels card here. Let's see what we've got for Cancer. What, is, what do the Romance Angels have for Cancer? You deserve love, okay? You are lovable. So if somebody has told you that, or if somebody has made you feel that way, you know that's not true. You know that, that you definitely deserve love. You know that you are lovable. You know you deserve um, good things in your life. So if somebody has made you feel the opposite way, you know good and hell will. That is not true. Okay. So don't allow yourself to feel um, those that negative energy. Or if somebody told you that they don't love you, that shit's not true either. Sometimes people say things just to hurt you. But don't allow yourself to get so focused on that. Because even if they don't, guess what? Somebody else will. Okay? So we have um, Gemini, Pisces, Virgo energies here. Any other um, Earth sign, Taurus or Capricorn, Libra um, is here. Let's see. Aries is here. And... Um, Leo. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. And I will be speaking with you soon.